what have you found are some of the most popular, I said the hottest selling items on eBay, but I, I, re, I, come, I come to realize talking to you more in the background or before we got on, on this recording that you you uh, provide this information to all kinds of Internet marketers and, and not just eBay marketers. That's correct. Um, what's the hottest selling categories you're seeing on the Internet today? You know, you know, Alan, um, we don't actually look at product sourcing that way. Uh, okay. And a lot of people do, and a lot of people have, uh, you know, have uh, success with that. But the way we look at it is, for me personally, show me a list of the supposed hottest sellers in any product market on, or any Internet market, and just watch me run the other way as fast as I can. Really? Uh, and not so fast anymore because I'm getting a little older. But <laughs> I, <laughs> I know from spending years in product sourcing research that any list of best-selling items, once it's published on the net, is probably going to cause those markets to start to flood within a few weeks, weeks at most. I mean, and then you start to lose your profit margins. I mean, what happens is this. If it's a widely enough published list, tens of thousands of people see it, and thousands of people are going to try to jump into that market. And that increased competition causes people to start to undercut each other's pricing in order to stay on top or get to the top. And, you know, it just turns into a feeding frenzy that can bottom out the profits of a good market pretty quickly. Um, we used to see this happen with Yahoo Store's 100 Top Searches list. They had a tool for Yahoo Store owners that allowed them to see what the 100 top product searches were in Yahoo Store at any given time. Right. And back when we were dealing with Yahoo Store owners a lot, I used to tell them to look at that list and then go exactly in the opposite direction if they really wanted to make the list work for them. Ah. So it's my personal opinion. It's just what I've seen, you know. In other words, yeah, okay. So the list is a, a list of what's hot right now is still useful, but just consider that it's no longer hot once you've seen it on a list. Exactly. Once it's widely enough published so that everyone sees it, it becomes a list of markets that are going to be flooded in a couple of weeks. So don't go there. Ah, okay. you know, that's a lot of work and and pain and woe that could be saved. That's that's true by avoiding. An overcrowded category, and and you certainly do see them happen all the time on eBay. Right. So that that kind of thing is useful in in my mind uh, to point you away from overcrowded categories or future overcrowded categories. 